Knuth said he recently lost a friend that was very close to his 100th jump, close enough that he talked about it all the time, and he didn't get to make it. I'd, I'd do it. I'd drag you with me. Your dead body. We'd go tandem together, do like a weekend at Bernie's thing, me yeah. and you flying through there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Or I'd just do it by yourself, just push you out. I mean, you don't need a parachute if you're already dead. No. Like, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it's raining, man. Hallelujah. <laughs> A Nebraska man makes 60 naked skydive jumps in 24 hours. You ever been <clears throat> skydiving, Stamos? Never. Have you? No, dude. No, I don't, not a fan of not it. Not me. I feel like that's where karma would kick in. Especially naked. I'm yeah, not. I couldn't do it naked. You know, I, 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 I do like to blow dry my butt, but I don't think I could do a naked skydive. <laughs> it does feel good to blow dry your butt. That's <laughs> Falling naked at 120 miles an hour at our age? Yeah. It's not a good thing. He might swallow something. <laughs> <laughs> right. I think someone, would, I wouldn't want, my balls would blow off. <laughs> you know what I mean? Look, I think they'd off. blow off. And Literally. They even, could. Like, like a speed bag. You'd have to tuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a good way to clean out your colon, though. This dude did it, though. He did it, man. Uh, Ryan Knuth. 38 years old, said he contacted Guinness World Records about setting a new record for the most naked skydive jumps in 24 hours. They said yes, if he performed at least 25 jumps in that time period. So that means <coughs> there were the record was 24. He did 60. Um, I don't know. I just feel like there's too many world records. For everything. But, it's kind of like a day, like there's a day for every. Yeah, there's, there's like, a national, irrational national day, yeah, you know? There's a world record. There's a record for everything. Yeah, anything can be a record now. Like just now, we just set the record for most consecutive podcast duo to not jump out of a plane. Record. World record holders. That's us. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah old record's 24. Uh, he, this Ryan guy averaged two and a half jumps every hour. Dude, time really flies. Wow! <laughs> time flies! <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> My question is, when did he eat? You got to eat in 24 hours, don't you? Who paid for all that plane gas? I don't know. That's also a good question. I mean, what would it you seems eat? seems like people spend a lot of money to break records. Yeah. they do. I, I, I don't know who funded this thing, if his friends are in on it. Uh, I'd just be nervous. Uh, Knuff said, oh, yeah, and at some point you got to use a bathroom. In 24 hours, could you not... He had to be like jump, land, get on the plane. They had to be a bunch. You know, it was like a, a circular pattern going. Yeah, it's quick. And at some point, you have to use the bathroom, don't you? Uh, no? You don't I mean, have to pee in 24 hours, Marcus? Are you disagreeing with me? Nah. <laughs> you're definitely going to have to pee in 24 hours. But he could go when, He could go midair. He could do whatever. Oh, uh, yeah. It doesn't matter. I would like to do it this guy. Because he was, was he tandem jumping? No, just He's by himself. Solo. Today's forecast. Expect a full moon tonight with a slight <laughs> chance of precipitation, possibly some ball lightning and mudslides, <laughs> if he's peeing up there. Knuth said it's an informal tradition for skydivers to perform their 100th jump in the nude. Did you know that? That's a thing. Like, for people who skydive, once they get to 100, they're supposed to go naked, which, I don't know, I think it's illegal. Is it not illegal to be naked? It's Isn't that called indecent, indecent exposure? exposure? <laughs> right? I don't know how this guy's getting Do away that with that. at Myrtle Beach and see what happens. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, the naked cowboy. He got in trouble. Remember him? Naked he's, cowboy. And he was just playing. He wasn't even naked. Yeah, he's got little boy panties on. He's not naked. Right. I would rather you wear lo- be naked than wear little boy panties. <clears throat> um, yeah, I think the cops are on the ground waiting on him with a robe and a net. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, Knuth ended his attempt with 60 naked jumps over a town... The town that he was jumping over was called Weeping Water. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> that he's flying naked through the air towards a town called Weeping, Weeping Water. Water. Yeah. I'd cry, too, if I was at Creek. Have a look at that dude. It's junk the whole time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, he came up with the idea to set the naked skydiving world record as a fundraiser for a mental health charity. 
which is odd because some people would argue that jumping out of a perfectly good plane is not mentally healthy to begin with. Um, Knuth said he recently lost a friend that was very close to his 100th jump, close enough that he talked about it all the time, and he didn't get to make it. So he said, I'm out here for him. Well, so that's a sweet gesture. Uh, he did it for his buddy. Tribute. Would you do that for me, Mark? If you jump. know I was into skydiving, would you go jump 100 times naked for me? After? Probably not 100, but I would do it one time for you. I uh, appreciate it, dude. You're welcome, man. I'd, I'd do it. I'd drag you with me. Your dead body. We'd go tandem together. Do like a weekend at Bernie's thing. Me yeah. and you flying through the air. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Or I'd just do it by yourself. Just push you out. I mean, you don't need a parachute if you're already dead. No. Like, get out here. <laughs> <laughs> it's raining, man. Hallelujah. <laughs> Anyway, uh, if you have a friend who's going through something, you know, talk to somebody, uh, in all seriousness. Uh, you could call the National Suicide Prevention Line. Th- I'm not being funny now. This is 100%. That's why the guy killed himself. So seriously, if you have problems, call somebody. Call 800-273-8255. There you go. Hey, it's me again. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you liked that. If you did, you, uh, you should check out the entire episode. It's a blast. And then if you're going to do that, you might as well subscribe. And then, you know, if you're going to subscribe, you might as well hit the notification bell. All right? And, uh, and know that I love you.